Hey everybody, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at a brand new Excel function that's available in Office 365 Insiders version. So I just found out about this new function today. So we're going to take a look at the let function. And what it does is it's going to allow you to parameterize your long formulas. So this way you can define a calculation once and then use it multiple times in a single formula. So in a previous video, I created a dynamic array calendar formula and the end result was a really long formula here. And you can actually see that parts of this are the exact same. So I'm referencing the same calculation multiple times. So here I've got this calculation here and I'm also referencing that again right here. So with the let function, we can define that once and then use it multiple times. So let's press escape and let's just copy and paste this down here. And I'm gonna come up and edit this and I'm just gonna press alt and enter and put this on a different line and start up here with my let function. So you can see the arguments in the let function. We have a name and then the name value so essentially we define a name here and then the next argument, we define the calculation for that name and you can define multiple calculations as well. So in this example, we're just going to define our name as calendar range. And then we're gonna define our calculation as this part right here. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it right here as our second argument in our let function. And now that we've defined our calculation, we can actually substitute that into our long formula here. So instead of sequence and all this stuff, I'm gonna replace that with the name and I'm gonna replace it again here with the name. And you can see that that's already simplified or shortened our formula quite a bit. And if you create names that are quite meaningful, then it's going to also make your formulas more readable as well. So let's just recap. Here's our let function. And we're defining a name. And we're defining a calculation for that name. And then we're performing some calculation that uses that new named calculation within it. And then we just need to close off our let function with one more closing parentheses. And let's press enter and see what happens. And actually I need to add a comma right after my calculation. So that's what's going wrong there. Let's try that again. Let's press enter and there we go. So we've taken our long complicated formula here that references the same calculation twice and parameterize that calculation with the let function. So this is going to make our long complicated formulas more readable, but it's also going to make them perform better. So because we're doing a calculation only once instead of twice in the formula, we're going to get better performance. So if you're on Office 365, and you're on the Insiders program, make sure you check out the let function. It's going to be a very useful function to know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.